In this video I'm going to be going over how to rig a Yamaha F series engine. In this case it's an F70. I've got it on this Montauk 17, uh, classic Montauk 17 that I've been working on. I'll be installing the cable. I'm also installing a 704 binnacle controller as well as the control cables and showing you how to adjust them. So keep watching and you'll see how we get this done. But before you do that, hit the subscribe button right here, hit the bell and you'll get notifications when I put videos up in the future. All right, so let's take this off with our uh, 10 millimeter driver right here. There should be plenty there. Now let's get this in here. Uh -oh. No, this right here. No, where's the cap? Right here. Yeah, let's <laughs> yeah, get the cap on there. Hold on. No, no, you're good. You have... Let me get the cap on there. Check this out. Uh, no, it goes here. Want to plug it in? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Go ahead and do that. Uh, two on the bottom. Is it slotted? It looks it like should it. only go in one way. So Yamaha definitely designed these cables to have a pretty snug fit and make them waterproof. I'm okay with that. So not a bad idea. So this, actually there's a channel up here where this sits in. All right, so one of the challenges in running a heavy gauge power cable, which we had to, I, I felt we had to because of the distance, is the grommet is uh, really uh, not gonna fit correctly. So I had temporarily um, cut that one grommet. I actually made a bit of a mess out of it. And I'll show you what this means. So, let me take that off. Here's the grommet. And I cut a big chunk out of it, which is not good. All right, you can see big piece missing there. So what I did is I ordered a replacement grommet. And you can see what this looks like originally. Um, but I'm gonna carefully cut away pieces so that we can get the heavier gauge cable in there um, but I'm going to be careful not to cut any of the outside off of which is what I did with the last one which is kind of kind of dumb actually but so I'm going to brace it on my knee without a 2 by 4 no I'm not actually So anyway, I shaved enough of the insides away with a, with a razor blade um, to create some space. So now let's see if I can get it all in there. Now, by the way, I did tie the speedometer to the uh, built-in uh, pressure cable, I guess you could call it. And uh, this is the control cable. That actually has a spot all its own. Uh, the power cables are going to go in there. I might have to carve away more of the inside. I'm not sure yet. Let's see. Just depends on how we do this. Actually, that will probably work. Let's see. Yeah. There you go. There it goes. Yay. In there, nice and snug. Sweet. So now. I need to put the cables in. So 
So an important part of rigging up an engine is, of course, going to be hooking up a controller. I've got a uh, what I thought was a Yamaha 704 controller, um, but after buying it on eBay, I kind of think it's not. I think it's a knockoff, but it should work. Uh, I've got the control cables. <clears throat> um, ordered 16 foot ones for this and I'm going to quickly show you how to mount them onto the 704 controller uh, then we're going to go to the back of the engine and we're going to do the engine as well and mount the shift cable as well as the uh, throttle cable to the engine so while we're up here one of the things we're going to be doing is installing this is a Yamaha OEM uh, control cable starter uh, hooks up to the engine control cable which is already run here um, so one of the reasons I figured this wasn't a Yamaha component is I had to buy this adapter for it. I'm pretty sure if it was a Yamaha controller it would have come with that already. But anyway, let me go ahead and run up the control cables. Now at this point they're not hooked up to the engine, so it doesn't matter. They're both identical. It will matter when we get to the engine as to which is which. And what I'm going to be doing is carefully taking this apart. To do that, first thing I'm going to do is take the cover off. So to start, we're going to take this metal cover off. That'll give us access to the uh, plastic cover underneath. Then we'll take these screws off. That'll give us access to the throttle and shifter. And here we go. So this was a used unit. Um, you can see which is which by simply shifting. So let me put this in neutral. So that's the shifter reverse. and drive this will be the accelerator cable at this point it doesn't really matter though because they're not hooked up at the engine side now there is something i want to show you this little thing here what's going to happen when you put these in like so there's a ridge right here that slides in this will be a spacer between the two. But before I get ahead of myself, let me pull these off and we'll mount them to the uh, cable. What I'm going to do is take the C-clips off and hopefully not lose them in the process. Now, unless I have some special adjustment that I need to accommodate, um, I like threading these on until I got maybe a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch showing through. Now, this is going to go on to that rod in this very direction that it is now, like so, and then the C-clip will go over that. So, let's lock that in place. Now this gives us some room for adjustment. If for any reason we have to uh, adjust it to accommodate anything at the engine, uh, we definitely got a lot of room to go out and uh, some room to go in. So right now, since it's not connected at the engine, it doesn't matter who goes first. So we're going to just get this guy in here. Put the C clip in. Actually, what we need to do is do the bottom one first, so that's the accelerator. So let's get that one in there first. So, 
accelerator ones in there. Put the little spacer in here. And get this next cable in. All right, so got the accelerator and the shifter. Let's get that locked in place. And we'll get this covered up, it's sealed up. Start with the screw closest to the cables first, just to lock them in place. So this is t almost ready to be mounted in, but before I do that, I'm going to do a few other things. One of them is going to be the control cable from the engine, which is this. A couple of things have to happen here. One of them, uh, the key, this has to lock in place. I'm not going to do it out here though. We actually have to do two things. This one is from the 704 controller to the engine cable, and it goes on like this. Can only go on one way. Okay. This goes to the key fob, so, or to the key. Now, later on, what we'll be doing is taking one of these and running it over um, to the tack. But for right now, my concern is just to get this, get this all installed correctly. So again, this came from the key. We're mounting the uh, connector from the engine to it. And again, it only goes on in one direction. Clicks in place and we'll do some wire management later. So this is ready to mount but before I do that I'm going to connect everything up at the engine side. The shifter goes on the inside. Now ready to check this is the shifter. Shift cable, I mean the throttle here, and the shifter there. Alright, so I'm going to go through the process that the Yamaha F70 manual says to go through. So we're going to mark the shift cable in three spots. Alright, to adjust the shifter, you want to make sure this post is lined up with these two little dots here. Then you can go on to adjust the cable. And here we go. It's going to go all the way out, I think. Now it's going to go all the way in. And then we're going to uh, mark right in the middle. Alright. Go 
go in. Go in. Go in. Alright, stop right there. Oh, look at that. Now see if you can get um, adjust this so it hooks on. It already is. Oh, it's spot on? Yeah, that's spot on. Is that not right? Or? Yeah. I mean, there's it's kind of threaded all the way in. Well, is it, how, many, how bad is it? Just, how much is inside of it? Almost all of it. Really? Yeah. This. Yeah. Well, tighten it up, I guess. To adjust the throttle cable, before you do that, you want to make sure that this arrow is lined up between these two slots right here. This needs to go out some. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Sorry, right See? there is where it's like right with those two lines. Put it on there, okay. See where it lines up. I need to come back with a thicker hair. Just a hair? Yeah. One, two. Yeah. I think that looks lined up. Well, maybe. Does it need to come out more? Yeah, I think it does. Uh, yeah, it needs to go back. Go back more? Yes. Yeah, so. uh. What do you think? Back one. I think. Back a half. No, I mean, that looks pretty good from the angle I'm at. I don't think you can get it any closer than that. Alright, so we're done with the rigging and uh, we haven't started the engine. We're not going to because we don't have a fuel tank. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and install the RPS seat, then install the fuel tank. The one thing I didn't cover in this video is how to hook up the tilt meter, which is not a standard Yamaha uh, tilt meter that I'm using, um, or the tachometer. I'm going to cover that in a separate short video. I think it's a topic that needs a video of its own. It'll be a short one, but it'll be in the future, probably a month from now or so. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit share and like. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.